Welcome to the instructional video for the iHealth COVID-19 antigen rapid test. Let's learn how you can complete the test all by yourself and read your results in just a few minutes. For starters, thoroughly wash your hands with soap and water. We also need a clean, flat testing area. Take a moment to disinfect some counter or tabletop space. Once it's dry, lay out the following items from your kit, but don't remove them from their individual packaging just yet. In the box is a swab, a test card, a test tube. Your test tube will likely have the testing solution already inside, but in some cases, you may have received the solution in a separate packet. If so, no problem. Remove the larger lid and then carefully tear off the top portion of your solution packet. Pour the entire contents of the packet into the tube. Careful not to spill. Now, put the lid back on the tube and you're ready to go. Tear the foil packaging off your test card and lay the card upright so that it's ready to receive your test solution once you've taken a sample. Open the handle end of the swab package and pull out the swab. Be sure not to touch the swab end with your fingers or bring the swab into contact with any potentially germy surfaces. Which brings us to the fun part we know you've been looking forward to. Yes, this thing's going inside of your nose. But lucky for you, the iHealth Rapid Test Swab is specially designed for simple, comfortable testing. It barely has to be inserted into the nostril, about a half to three quarters of an inch. Easy, in a circular motion, swab as if you are cleaning the inside of your nose. Note that this is not a matter of simply twisting the swab in place. When you've finished, swab your other nostril the same way. You think you got it bad? I'm the one who has to keep saying nostril. Insert the swab all the way into the solution. Twist it back and forth in the solution at least 15 times. And as you're removing the swab from the tube, squeeze the sides of the tube to wring every last drop of delightful solution and sample out of that swab. Then replace the large lid back onto the tube. You can now say goodbye to that swab. You grew so close in such a short amount of time. Now let's test the sample. Remove the small dropper lid at the tip of your test tube and carefully squeeze three drops of solution into the receiving port on the test card. Set a timer for 15 minutes. You'll see your sample being slowly absorbed into the test strip, and over the next 15 minutes, your results will appear on the test strip as lines under the C and potentially the T. After 15 minutes, you can officially read the results of your test. But be aware, you only have another 15 minutes to read them before the results are officially considered invalid. It's a good idea to set another timer. Let's read your results. The C line is the control line. A line should always appear under the C. This tells you that the sample has been absorbed into the strip and that the test card is valid. If no line appears under the C, then the test card is invalid. If possible, you will need to test three drops of your sample on another card. The T line is the test line. A line will only appear under the T if you have tested positive for the virus. If there is no line under the T, then the test did not detect any virus in your sample. Nice! Be aware that depending on certain factors, such as how long the virus has been in your system, the line under the T may be very faint. Regardless of how light or dark, any line at all under the T means that you have tested positive for the virus. If you're unsure, you may wait to use a magnifying glass or hold the test card under a bright light for closer inspection. And that's it. If you tested positive, don't panic. Seek advice from a medical professional on your next steps. You can also go to cdc.gov for more information about how best to keep yourself and others safe. If your test is negative, be safe.